Okay, so this stuff came in yesterday and I haven't even cleaned it up yet. Um, but I want to share with you the HSN items that came in today, which I promised you guys I would do the review on um, on one of the items that are coming that came in today. So let's see here. These are both auto deliveries. Let me just see what it says here, because I know one of them. Uh, oh yeah, so the Anna Griffin Floral Gatefold Die Set. I'm going to review that right now or today. And then the other one is from Crafters Companions. It's Nest Frames Grande Mirror. And that one came from, I believe, purchasing the colored Gemini Junior a few months ago. I think this is the first um, uh, auto delivery for it, which has been a while. Yeah, because I don't... If I got another one in the meantime, I don't remember it. So, which is very possible. But, uh, so this would be at that. And I was looking forward to these because they're so cute. Well, they look really nice. And sometimes, like I said, on HSN, Crafters Command will mention that they are not going to sell this later on their site. But, um, this looks a lot like the ones I just picked up, but I don't think they are. The ones that they had just got. Let me see if I can grab them. So I'll leave that there for you to look at while I come over here. Hopefully don't drop my computer. This guy. Okay. So if you guys remember when they were on HSN just recently in October, I had a huge haul. And this is the one I was thinking about. Look at that. They are very similar. <laughs> um, I mean, they're different, but very similar. <laughs> so this one has the outer frame. It has best wishes and a little butterfly. This one has the outer frame. Same thing, inner frame, uh, like uh, inner die. Actually, there's two dies on the inside, so there's three ways to mat that out. Uh, which is really pretty, and you can kind of see that here. There's like the lower. Oh, I just took my nails off too. That's why I've been waiting to do. I, uh, you have to set aside time for that, and I've just been making videos, and we we're out of town this weekend, and everything else. Anyway, it has hello, and then like little flower and leaf, and like a little, just a little something there, a little swirl. So very cute. Even the, I don't know, the colors like <laughs> they're very similar. I'm gonna put this over here. This one that I had ordered from HSN. Um, came with this die set, the Regal Mirror Border, and this one's called Regal Mirror Frame. But this one, the auto delivery is Grande Mirror Frame. So they are supposed to be kind of similar. They have the same similar names. And this is the Grande Mirror Border. So they're different, but they're very similar. <laughs> okay, so really nice. I like them both. I'm not... Ooh, what am I doing? Let's make sure these get back in this right packages in case I return them, but I won't return the auto delivery one for sure. Okay, and this is the Anna Griffin that we're going to review today. And I'm sorry about the lighting. I'm gonna open up the windows in a minute, so hopefully it'll knock some of those shadows out. So this is the Anna Griffin auto delivery. And I believe this is the second to the last, if not the last one of the series, because I've been getting these for a while. I just never reviewed them for you guys. So this is the floral gatefold die set. It has the outer portion that makes the, the card like you see right here, this large piece. You do need, I believe, the extended cutting plates. Um, if you have a Gemini, like the regular Gemini, of course, it's going to work because they have big plates in there to begin with. But let me see. Let me grab the plates real quick. <clears throat> so this is the regular Anna plate. Let's see. Oh, yeah. No, it dwarfs this. So I will need the extended cutting plates with the Anna Griffin um, or the Empress. And... You know, it has um, some different, different cut, some different, different, I don't know, <laughs> different uh, frames and things that you can cut out and layer up. Um, you know, I've been watching her, and just yesterday I was watching her do the uh, gingerbread house dies, which I already reviewed last week or two weeks ago, whenever it was. And she surely cut it right into that white magnetic mat, which just trips me out. So she puts the cutting into the white magnetic mat and I don't know we'll see maybe I'll try it today because I do want it to be embossed and I don't really feel like running it back through to be embossed but um you can try it out see how that looks so basically we're gonna need a couple different sheets I want to see what she did she has like some variegated paper here or something because it's the uh, different shades um and then she must have cut a piece well you can do double-sided paper, like this is single-sided paper, and then she cut a piece to fit in there. It's probably five by seven. It doesn't have a, uh, a die for that, but you can just measure that. And then, you know, you layer up the other items. So let me grab some papers and we will get to cutting. Okay, so my base card is gonna be on this just white 
cardstock. It's just some cheap cardstock I picked up along the way somewhere. Um, and then I went through and I was like, what do I, I still want it to look kind of floral. So what I did was I picked up some paper from this pack and I was like, oh, this is so pretty. The solstice. I don't know when I got this or how long ago. Hopefully they still have it. It's die cuts with a view. Old school. I used to always buy their paper pads when they're like 10 bucks or less, you know? And, um, it has a lot of pretty things in it. I mean, this is really, really pretty paper. It's glitter and you know, stuff. So I used this blue piece that was in the back. Just kind of thumb through what else I wanted. This one's pretty, but I went with this smaller print. This is, I, I love this stack. It is so gorgeous. So if they still have it, which I know sometimes they put things out and they keep them out forever. Um, maybe you'll still find it. Um, so I picked out some colors from that and we'll get to them when we get to them. So our base card is this outer piece. And I, like I said, I thought these were so pretty. I've never tried them. And I even order other ones that weren't on the auto deliver. They're just cards that I want to try out, but paper, I'm going to have the die face down. So you can see the cutting edge is facing down. I'm going to bring out this that is super bent. I don't know why that's crazy. Why is that? So look at that. That is ridiculously bent. I hardly ever even use these things. I'll put that one at the bottom. That's our a plate. Let me move some of this stuff out of the way. So a plate. And like I said, I'm going to cut into my mat, even though I don't want to, <laughs> but uh, I'm going to try it. She used the gingerbread house and you know that has a lot of little tiny things cut out in it. I'm like, that is craziness. So a plate magnetic mat with the white side facing up. I am going to hopefully order her new black mat. Um, this is a whole eight and a half by 11, by 11 pieces of paper. So it's almost the same size. And it also runs through because it's just wide enough to go. The plate is basically eight and a half inches wide. Um, so that's on there facing down. Remember cutting into the mat and I'm only going to use, I'm not going to use the metal shim or anything. Well, you can't use the rubber embossing mat, but in the metal shim, I'm going to place the other A plate and I'm going to run it through and hopefully it'll emboss all in one step. And I'm running that through Empress. I still haven't forgotten that you guys want me to do a video of all my machines. <laughs> I'm just like, it's going to take time and I really want to get centered for it. But I will probably record that today or tomorrow and hopefully release it very soon. Okay, so I'm lifting that up. I'm going to pick this guy up and lift it away so that it's easier for me to get this up. And there you can see it is cut into, but it's not really cut into. <laughs> hopefully you can see that. It's really in there, but I don't see that the pieces are going to cut out. So. That's good. And I'm gonna lift this up. And I guess if you really wanted to do some em uh, embossing, you can definitely do that. There's lots of pieces that are gonna come out. Let me see if there's any pieces like this. See, those are cut out. So I don't know. Well, yeah, I guess so. If I wanted to do some inking, should we do it? The embossing isn't that great. I can see right now that it didn't emboss too much. So maybe I should run it through again with the rubber mat. It didn't work as what I wanted it to do. So let me run it through again because I do want to get some embossing on here. So maybe next time if you guys want to try it, go ahead and run it through. But with the um, magnetic, I'm sorry, with your metal shim too. That way you'll really get that embossing. I'm going to run this back through because I do want the embossing to show up. I think I'm going to leave it white though because that was my whole point was to leave it just white. get that embossing going and the other things I'm just gonna run through the same way I'm going to run this outer frame so when you do an embossing mat obviously you oh it's shocking me you put the rubber side facing the um, cutting edge so it pushes into that okay now I can see it's really embossed but again if you want to ink it up do not remove it from this and ink it up first and then remove it and all those areas that are kind of raised would have been inked. Hopefully you can see that difference there. Okay. So that's our base card. I'm going to put that to the side. I'm just going to go ahead and cut everything else at one time because they all will fit on here. Well, yeah, I think it might. Everything might. So we have this guy. This would be really cute to ink up, but my paper already has color. And why I'm saying it'd be cute to ink up is because like these little dots here don't cut out. So you can emboss that into your paper. I'm probably not going to do the second embossing because this is colored paper. You're not even going to really see it. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and run those through and cut. Let me see here. Where's my other? Okay. I just had it right. The magnetic mat. <laughs> what happened to it? Oh, here it is. It's upside down. So it's dark. So 
a magnetic mat. I'm not going to cut into it this time because there's no point, but I am going to put my paper face down so I have the cutting edge facing up, paper face down. I'll also cut out of this center one. Again, it has those cute little dots that you could totally ink up or emboss into your paper, which I'm not going to do this time around. But I'm going to cut this guy out, try to get as many flowers as I can in there. And then um, the smallest, smallest piece, which I don't really need, but I'm going to go ahead and cut it out just so you guys can see. Um, I'm going to cut this one out with some black paper. I just have a piece that was literally in that mat. I don't know why it was in between the papers I was looking for um, paper to cut. It was just there. So I'm like, oh, I'll just use this black piece of paper and cut this guy out with that and I'll be right back. Okay, so you know I like to take things back. I'm like, ah, you know what, maybe I will emboss it just so you can get a little of the look. So leave these things, actually we have to take them off of here because we use the magnetic mat. So I am going to move these over. Oh, what a mess. <laughs> That's not really a mess, it's just a lot of stuff here. Uh, and we're gonna remove all these things from here. And we're going to pop them just down here. So I'm going to put that there. And if you're afraid that they're going to move, you know, put a little piece of tape or whatever if you need to. I'm just putting them right back down exactly the way they came out. Making sure that this is situated back inside. And this last one might be a little persnickety. But I'm going to put that there too. Keep them a safe space away from each other rubber embossing mat right on top like this one looks like it's shifted already rubber embossing mat and then your other a plate so it's a plate dies facing up embossing mat and then the other a plate let me run this through real quick And whenever I do something like that, I kind of hold the plates together until it's almost halfway through because that way they don't shift as they're going through. You're kind of giving some pressure in the back, otherwise they'll just do whatever they want. I'm telling you, I do not like the magnetism that this thing makes. It shocks me. Ugh. Okay. Ooh, those are so pretty. Look how cute they look all together here. So again, it gave you that embossing. You can still see it. If I inked it up, you wouldn't be able to see that. But you can ink up all these little dots here. Um, this thing has the dots on the sides too. Okay. So let's get this together. Let me grab some glues and things and we'll get this all together. Okay. So what we're going to do is... I totally forgot that I was going to get glue and stuff together. I don't have anything ready. <laughs> I cleaned up and I took a picture for Instagram. Um, so we're going to fold these on the score line. And I'm going to tell you right now, the score line is not that great. I'm probably going to rescore it because I can tell already it's not uh, cooperating with me so let me it's there it's very faint and I don't want to mess this up so I don't even know how I'm going to line this up to make that easy so I, I'm still scoring the right area but let's put that there and where's my scoring tool it's over here I'm still not quite used to having things here and there um I think it started here right there Okay, and I'll turn this one again. Hopefully I have that lined up somewhere on here that's not crooked. I think, uh, a little, a little bit crooked. We're going a little bit crooked here. Eh, what can you do? All right, yeesh. That was not quite right, but there we go. We'll, we'll get it. So, not the best on that. And, and you guys know I ran it back through with the embossing folder, so it should have embossed really well. Not the embossing folder, embossing mat, sorry. That's not the best. Just really make sure you're nice and straight when you go to do that. Look at that, it wants to bend on that inside one. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, what a pain. This thing has been double folded and it still acts funny. Okay. I just realized my neighbor called me too. I saw that she was home and she works and so I wonder what's up. Sometimes she just wants to hang out, so I'll see. All right, let's see here. Okay, there we go. And then I'm going to lay this one flat, I think. Oh, oh, you know what? Uh, duh. I meant to just use this as a five by seven piece that was back here. <laughs> 
I cut this to five by seven because I figured I was gonna put that back here. And then another, you know, this flowery one in that design on top and then a black one here, but I did a whole different way. So that's okay, we're just gonna pretend that's fine. I'm just gonna glue this down. I did want a background paper, even though the embossing comes cut through kind of, which is nice um, from when the paper was just uh, run through. But what a bummer, I totally forgot. And I even spent time cutting out a five by seven piece of paper. I mean, I can still cut a five by seven piece of paper, I guess, but I don't want to. All right, so I'm gonna do this one flat. And kind of center it within that uh, area there. What I'm trying to say is that you can see there's like embossing lines from, you can see it better on this backside, but uh, there it is. And that is the backside. I mean, if you wanted to turn the card the other way, that's up to you, but then the embossing will be on the inside of the card and that's probably not what you want to do. I'm so silly. Okay, there's that. And then I dropped my other, there it goes. A little frame one, which is super cute. And I will pop dot that. And I have some really big pop dots, these guys. I always call them pop dots. Are pop dots the ones that are like basically flat? Those are like glue dots. Remember those back in the day? I keep calling everything pop dots. Ooh, my nails are nice and sharp right now, so it's really easy to take these off. Whenever I take off my acrylics, I always feel like my nails are kind of like dangerous, these ones, because I file them, and I file them a little bit sharp. And you're not used to it, because the acrylics are kind of rounded, even if you make them sharp on the edges. They're not as sharp and thin, right? Because your nails are thin, you can really get under stuff. The acrylics are a little bit chubby. All right. This goes here, hopefully somewhere. That's not, nope, too high. I'm trying to see exactly. Ugh, come on. There we go. That's pretty good. And then this one I just cut out just to have it. It's really small. Let me close up a little bit more. And then of course you would have like maybe a sentiment on here and do whatever you like. I'm not gonna stick it down right now to be honest because I don't know, and I'm not sure that I like the being so dark, but then you're supposed to put other cute things around it, right? Or stamp on it, which I haven't done any of that. So this would be your card, basically. It's very pretty, there's a lot going on, and I guess you can put a belly band or something to keep it closed. Obviously you put it in your envelope, it's a five by seven card. I did measure this middle area, it is exactly five by seven. Um, so there it is. I think it's very pretty, I love this kind of thing. And what she has in her examples, if I can find that, I probably can't, here we go, is um, if you're noticing, like I said, it had different colors because she's using the ombre paper that she sells. So it kind of went from darker to lighter like this, the dark pink and then kind of nothing. Um, this one's just that gold uh, foil paper she has. Again, purple is darker here to uh, almost nothing. So that's a really pretty thing to use because it kind of gives it some motion, right? Or if you're just using paper that has um, a pattern on it. So thanks for watching guys. Uh, Happy to review this. I think it was very lovely. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye now.